Lewis. How are you? I'm good. And yourself? I'm good. Kirby was just telling us that they've sort of challenged you to take on a bigger leadership role, which maybe doesn't come super naturally to you. How would you say you've grown in that way? Um, I've grown in communication more, you know, um, being able to constantly keep talking to my teammates, um, making making checks before the ball snaps and telling this guy or that guy, hey, this is finna come, this is coming up, this that's coming up, just making sure that we all play faster. And that's one thing I've kind of grown at. Lewis, uh, good to see you. Uh, specifically, you know, the, the, the shot on Kyle Pitts. I mean, obviously that was a hard hit that, that injured you and injured him mm -hmm. and knocked you out of the game as well. I just wonder what you remember, if anything, about that play uh, in particular and uh, kind of how that's influenced you going forward, you know, in terms of how, you, how you're going to try to patrol the middle of the field. Um. I mean, there's nothing I could do about that at the end of the day. I feel like I did hurt my team by, you know, me getting targeting and exiting the game. But um, I'm just looking forward to, you know, playing, uh, constantly playing fast and playing to the way I know I can play. And that's really all I can say about that. Let's go to Seth Emerson and then Mark Weiser. Lewis, I don't know if this is a <clears throat> kind of a defensive coordinator question, but when you're facing so many offenses that are explosive, try to be explosive, pass a lot, how do you, as a player, strike a balance between keeping them in front of you, but also trying to be an aggressive unit? Um, I feel for one, you got to know what they're trying to do. And um, that's, that's really what's important. You got to know what they're trying to do because a lot of teams have um, – do a lot of trickery and show you this so you can bite on it and expose you in the back end. And I feel like you, you can never go wrong with protecting back there and, you know, just rallying forward to everything. Lewis, getting, getting back to the, uh, the play with, with Pitts, I, I wondered if you reached out to him at all just to kind of say, you know, hey, he was a football player or whatever, because I, I know Mark Webb and him are, are tight from back in the day at home. Uh, no, I haven't got the opportunity to reach out to him, but um, I'm happy to know that he's doing better now and he's going to be able to play for his team coming for going forward. So I'm happy to hear about that. Let's go to Jillian and then Palmer. Hey, Lewis. Um, do you see this game against South Carolina as maybe a chance for revenge at all after last year? Um, revenge? I, I, I wouldn't use the word revenge, but I would say redemption, of course. Um, you know, our goal is to, of course, win, and our goal is to um, play to our standard, and um, that's what we're planning on doing. And, yeah. Lewis, yesterday when we talked with Channing, it, he kind of gave off the impression that it seemed like some of the defensive miscues are because people aren't on the same page. Uh, in terms of communication, do you feel like everyone's on the same page, and, and do you think that's an area where y'all can do better? Uh, communication is always important in life and in football. Um, and one one miscommunication can lead to a bust, and it could cost a defense, it costs a team. Um, but I, one thing I always say is you can never uh, – what, what's the word I'm looking for? Over communicate. You you have to over communicate, and that's really important in the game of football. Let's go to Jake and then Connor. Lewis, uh, you've kind of been the uh, the source of a of a number of big hits this season. Is that kind of always been your game, or is that something that's maybe developed of late? Uh, what what's kind of your mentality there when it comes to those bone jarring type hits? Um, my mentality is just playing fast, you know. Um, football is supposed to be played fast, supposed to be played physical. That's how it's always been. And I've never shied away from contact or showing the real, you know, how aggressive I am when playing the sport. And I've always played like that from Pub Warner to high school and even now. And I don't plan on changing any the way I play any anytime soon, but it's just playing the game safer. You know, I'm learning new things, learning new ways to keep myself safe, keep other people safe. So that's one thing I'm going to be implementing going forward. 
What have both you and I guess the defense as a whole missed the most about not having Richard out there? Um, I feel like it's just the energy he brings. Um, I mean, you you can't go wrong with Richard being on defense. He brings a whole lot of juice and energy to the defense. And um, for one, I, I'm really, really, really waiting until the day he starts playing back. And, you know, hopefully that's very soon. And um, we, we love Richard's energy, and that, that's, that's what we're missing. Let's go to Mike Griffith. Uh, yeah, Lewis, I, to belabor that, that, that hit, though, it, it looked like you turned your shoulder. I, I guess I'm a little confused about what you were supposed to do. Were, should you have dived at his ankles? or Because it looked like you turned your shoulder, and as Kirby said, you went in the strike zone from shoulder pad to waist. I, I have, I'm having a hard time understanding what you, what you could have done differently there. Can you explain that? Um, honestly, I don't, I don't think I could have done anything different because I, I was coming fast, and he did what? came natural him, which is protecting himself. And at the end of the day, um, the call was made. I mean, there's not much I can do about it now. I mean, what's done is done. But, it, you know, now is just making sure that doesn't repeat itself again. All right, we've got time for a couple more if anybody wants to jump in. Yeah, following up on where you said it's never a bad thing to over-communicate, do you feel like y'all are – over communicating or do you feel like y'all are under communicating if that makes sense uh we're definitely over communicating um not to the way where to confuse to confuse people or to you know mess people around um but it, to make sure that everyone's on the same page you know if we're all if we're all wrong playing the same call we'll be fine but if this person's playing a different call that person's playing a different call now it, it's that's bad football and as long as we we're all on the same page we'll be fine i was going to follow up on that uh lewis and ask you as well i mean it, it, they sent that receiver over the middle i mean doesn't the offense bear some responsibility of putting a guy over the middle running at you at full speed in another direction i mean isn't that kind of part of why you hit somebody hard to maybe discourage them from running across the middle at you um could you repeat that question again, please? Yeah, they, they they run they ran a crossing route at you. Isn't part of delivering that kind of shot to discourage them from sending a star player at you across the middle? I mean, they can throw it on other parts of the field, right? Um, on, honestly, I, I I don't know. I was just reacting to what I saw. Um, I, I really don't know. You know. Just reaction. That's all. Thank you. Anybody else? Hello. Play, Lewis, you played for Deion Sanders your senior year of high school. Is that correct? Yes, sir. At uh, Trinity Christian? Yes. What was that like? What was the experience of playing – or I guess playing under him, especially just given who he is as a football player? Um, Deion is an amazing person. He's an amazing human being. And um, people see prime time, you know, but um, he has more to him than uh, as a person spiritually. And um, he has like a backbone. Um, by that, I mean, you know, he's way more than – what people see on TV, you know, um, he's done a lot for the community. He's done a lot for me, um, shedding light and, you know, prof the professional ball, his experiences, the fun times he's had and, you know, um, f and things he could have done differently if he had a redo and all those things, I make sure I soak in, you know, take in because sooner and later I'm going to be in, you know, the same, the same footsteps or not footsteps, but, Kind of, I'm gonna be in the next level, going to the league, God willing. And you know, there's everything he said. I'm gonna be able to see it, and hopefully, I fall, do the right things. Okay, Lewis, thank you for your time, and uh, have a good rest of your night.